Hello people, in this video we want to look at the treatment of cervical cancer. So basically you have seen so far uh, a lot of things about cervical cancer. Uh, let's take a recap, just a small recap. So there can be uh, a cervical cancer which can be in situ or invasive. So basically you want to catch it early. So you will do a lot of screening tests, pap smear, biopsy, uh, colposcopy, a lot of things, right? So then basically you saw the staging, right? So based on all that information, now let's come to the treatment. Now we want to treat, okay? So first of all, we are talking about prevention, okay? So let's put this as prevention. So first of all, you can give the person HPV vaccine, that's human papilloma virus vaccine. Uh, anti-HPV vaccine, you can say, bivalent vaccine are there, like Cervarix, you have to write this name in the exam, Cervarix. It is again active against 16 and 18. Anyways, these are the ones that cause the uh, high-grade uh, squamous intraepithelial lesion. Remember, go back here. See uh, here, 16, 18 causes the high-grade one and 6 and level causes the low-grade one. So, the Cervarix will cover the high-grade one at least, right? So, let's go back here. So, uh, there is another one which is quadrivalent, which will have against all these four uh, types of HPV, 16, 18, 16, 11, that is quadrivalent. It's called as Garda cell, Garda cell, okay. So, these names, if you write, it will be nice. So, to whom you will give? To usually females. So, less than 15, they are giving two dose and uh, 15 years and above, they are giving three dose, okay. We read somewhere that even for men, they can give because even males can carry um, this uh, HPV, which can cause oral cancer, etc., right? And... Uh, he will not infect the other partner also, right? So, anyways, um, this is what the textbook, gynecology textbook says this, so we will go with this. Now, um, uh, what are the other ways of prevention? Delay the uh, intercostal uh, transformation zone is mature. Who has to delay? The female. I'm really sorry to say this. Um, okay, or if you want to do, you have to use condoms, okay? And uh, there is, uh, you can limit partners so that you do not get HPV, right? And you can limit children, which is really surprising. Okay, hygiene, even penile hygiene they are talking about here and quit smoking. Okay, so these are the ways of prevention of HPV. Now let us go, in once there is a HPV, how do you treat it? So basically you will keep observing it as to how it is progressing looks like. And then uh, if you want to decide against the treatment, you want to ablate it. Ablate it means kind of burn it out, remove it. How do you burn it or remove it, ablate it? You can use co cryotherapy. That is also cold only. Cold coagulation, same thing. Uh, basically, uh, cryotherapy is much, much uh, frozen kind of temperature, isn't it? Uh, electrodiathermy, this is uh, looks like um, uh, heat and laser vaporization, right? So, cold heat, laser, whatever, just remove that, okay? And excisional means you will remove that uh, part of the uh, cervix, uh, the exercise of the transformation zone. So what is transformation zone? Transformation zone, uh, draw this diagram, okay, in the exam, this is your cervix, let us say, the opening, the uh, external loss. So around that you will have the new squamocolumnar junction and uh, outside that you will have the original squamocolumnar junction, right? So this is the original squamocolumnar junction and what you are seeing here is the new squamocolumnar junction. So whatever is there between these two, right? This is the transformation zone. And if uh, HPV attacks, if there are viruses there, this uh, transformation zone which is undergoing squamous metaplasia, it will easily become uh, cancerous, right? So this is the transformation zone and they want to remove it. And how will they remove it? Some loop, okay? So they are using some large loop electrosurgical excision of transformation zone. This is LLETZ, large loop excision electrosurgical excision of transformation zone. So basically here they are using some uh, very thin stainless steel loop, okay. And uh, this one, they are using low voltage in this and uh, depth of up to 10 centimeter they can remove, okay. And uh, coming to cone excision, cone excision actually is coming second. The first thing they want to try is this LLETZ, okay. Cone excision also you can do, you can use uh, using knife or laser. Then finally if the family is complete of the person, so the, here you have to think of a lot of things. Right of the person's age, or, or, um, or whether they have, their family is complete, etc. Based on all that, you have to decide, right? And um, hysterectomy can be done if they have completed their family, right? So that is what that means. You will remove the uterus, especially in elderly women. They are doing this. Uh, if there is a high grade CN, or if it extends into the vagina, or if there is persistent dyscariotic smear, even with treatment. Right, and there is some other associated gynecological problems, or if there is a 
um, family is complete or there is a cancer phobia in some people um, they just want to get rid of it no? the hysterectomy they will do okay guys now let us say that this uh, carcinoma in situ became invasive carcinoma okay it became invasive carcinoma now what you do for this person it's invasive so you have seen all those stages of invasion right it can attack, uh, it can invade into the vagina parametrium right then uh, to the pelvic wall so it can go around the ureter and catch it so how will you treat this carcinoma cervix so what the textbook says you can either treat it surgically or radiotherapy or you can do both okay so hysterectomy uh, means they are removing the uterus you can say so there is radical hysterectomy where you remove the uterus the uh, the fallopian tubes the ovary upper half of vagina the parametrium all the draining lymph nodes everything they want to remove okay this is radical and then there is something called as ultra radical surgery which is pelvic exenteration so that is ultra radical and we will not go there now then you, or you can do radiotherapy standard treatment you have isn't it for uh, cancer and you can do both now look at this table here this, this table is giving you a lot of information based on the stage how to treat if it is a um, first stage a1 a2 uh, or uh, b basically all the first stage you just see uh, how it's progressing okay they want to uh, their uh, colonization of the cervix simple trachelectomy simple trachelectomy removal of cervix looks like the simple simple hysterectomy simple simple then after some time they are starting off with radical trachelectomy modified radical hysterectomy it's just becoming a little more serious here after some time radical hysterectomy there is no option of trachelectomy finally they are talking about palliative surgery chemo radiation advanced cancer they are just making the patient comfortable that's it they are not even talking about removal of the cervix or the uterus okay just look at what they are doing trachelectomy means that we should be looking at the details simple trachelectomy what is radical trachelectomy basically what they are saying is when you uh, can you cannot do hysterectomy she wants to have a family right that time they are doing radical trachelectomy radical trachelectomy can be done in young women to preserve fertility as an alternative to radical hysterectomy coming to radiotherapy under that you have brachytherapy right you are putting small small radioactive source inside itself right here they will give actually radium sulfate they are saying radium sulfate anyways this is not very important guys basically what we wanted to tell you is just know the treatment of carcinoma cervix okay um very briefly we have told you each of this will have a lot of details inside it like um, cryotherapy will have lot of details etc everything will have lot of details on each under them right you know that that's how it works so in this video we have just covered the prevention treatment of carcinoma um, cin is what cervical intraepithelial neoplasia and how will you treat carcinoma cervix okay this is the invasive one basically so this is what we have covered in this video guys we'll meet you in the next video bye bye